Welcome back viewers. I want us to continue with our AutoCAD learning. Let's continue with layers. Layer is a property in AutoCAD which is used to combine objects with similar properties together. So at least it helps us also to manage our project. Once you have grouped similar objects together, you can easily manage your project by managing the components which are grouped together with the same properties when you are doing plotting and printing in uh, AutoCAD. So we can start. So we have the layer properties. So on the layer properties, we have got uh, different layers. Mm -hmm. You can create as very many layers as possible depending on your project. So you can see here, allow me to delete these layers. So we can, for example, let's pick on an architectural plan or electrical plan. So we come to layer properties. So under layer properties, we pick this icon to create a new layer. You can give your layer names. The properties which are in your project, you can give them names. For example, if you are doing an architectural plan, you can have various components or various objects. For example, we have columns, we have beams, we have objects, we have furniture, we have doors and windows, we have roof. So we can create those layers, we can group them together. So for the columns, we can assign them the properties. For the beams also, we assign them the properties under layers. Uh, for walls, we can also assign them properties to group them together and also we can also do for the um, walls, doors and windows and objects which are going to place on your project. So when I come to layer properties, so I can start by creating a layer. So when you click on this icon to get a new layer, so you can give them names like walls. Mm. I can click out. I can do furniture. Mm -hmm. So because I'll be starting also furniture, so I want to group them together. I also have other layers. Mm -hmm. You click on creating a new layer, maybe columns. Mm -hmm. So you can have those columns. This is color. You can give a color for the columns and the beams, walls. You can also choose the color. You can have that type of color for walls. Mm. And much more. We also have doors. We also have furniture. We also have light and power. Then just close the layer dialog box. So when you come to the layers drop down list, you find that now we have our layers created. We have columns. We have doors. We have furniture. We have lighting. We have power. And we also have walls. So you can create as many layers as possible depending on the project you are undertaking. So I want to start drawing my walls. For example, I come to the wall layer, I click it, so it becomes active. So anything you're doing from that point will take the same same properties which you have assigned under layer. So that's my walls. Mm -hmm. Then I come to columns. I can do my columns. I can pick a rectangle. You can see that's my column. I'm doing my columns. Then I can hatch the columns. You pick appropriate hatch pattern for the columns, which is concrete. 
Let's click. Let's click on those inside part to represent your columns. And then now you increase the scale. You can increase the scale. And hit the enter key. So you can see we have columns, we have walls. If you still want to draw, you come back to walls. And then now I can hatch my walls. For example, you pick appropriate pattern to represent your walls. Let's click. And then you use the scale. You just type like two. Then you hit the enter key. So you can see this is my walls. Again, hatch there. Hit enter again to continue. Hatch there. So you can see the difference. We have walls. Then these are my blocks. For the doors, I can click and then give them a layer for doors. This is lighting. You can see I'm assigning it a layer because I might be having very many lighting points and a very, very many doors. And then I also have sockets here, which represent power. So when you click on any object, you'll see which layer it is under. So I can I can copy this. So I'm placing my lighting points on my plan. So those are my lighting points. Then I also copy this on the other side. Those are my lighting points, my socket points. And then I also copy this as my lighting point. I can place those as my lighting points. So I have got different layers. Eh? So you can see the sockets are grouped together. Lighting are grouped together. Walls are grouped together. And the doors are also grouped together. So you group similar objects together using layers. So you can go back to your layer zero. So let's see how you can manage this type of layers. So for example, you want to hide or you want to hide or freeze a layer. Instead of deleting, you simply come to layer. For example, I don't want power. You click on this bulb to put it off, putting a layer on and off. You can click that. It goes off. Lighting also goes off. So you can see you are remaining with only the architectural plan. So this one you can give them to structural guys to do their structural detailing and putting reinforcements because they're not interested on other layers which you have put on. You can still bring them back by clicking on that bulb. And you can see that on. And also this power on. So they are back. So you can see how now we manage our layers. Uh, I can also put columns off. So when you click on that layer, you see our columns are off. They have been hidden. So layers you can put on or off layers. For example, if you're working on a very big project and uh, it has got a lot of services like electrical, mechanical, mm, plumbing, you can group planning, planning, planning components together using layers, electrical components together using layers, and also mechanical components together using layers. So that's how we use layers and how it helps us to manage a given project by hiding, putting some objects on or off after you have grouped them together on the layers. Thank you.